What's up, guys? Uh, Ryan from the MTG Homebrew Network podcast uh, here today coming at you with a, another Commander deck tech. Uh, we're talking about a deck I call Jarats. Uh, so Gerard Golgari Lichlord is a zombie elf 2-2 two -two, uh, for black, black, green, green. Uh, and Gerard says, uh, Gerard gets plus one plus one for each creature card in your graveyard. Uh, one black green sacrifice another creature. Each opponent loses life equal to the sacrifice creature's power and sacrifice a swamp and a forest return Gerard from your graveyard to your hand. So a typical build for Gerard is usually like dredge. Uh, but this is a melding of two decks, uh, in which we are actually playing rat colony. Uh, this is a rat tribal aristocrats a rast a ratstocrats uh deck <laughs> where we have gerard at the helm uh and we're looking to make as many rats as possible with uh you know green cards added to a typically mono black deck uh typical commanders for rats are maronar or now ashcoat but we have importantly some very good green inclusions to the deck uh, so to quickly go over uh, typical things you would see in a mono black rat deck, uh, we have most of the creatures. We have Crip Rats as a board wipe. Uh, Marinar would usually be either in the command zone or in the 99. Uh, Ogre Slumlord makes 1-1 one, one rat tokens whenever a non-token rat dies, uh, and they all have death touch. Uh, Pack Rat uh, is a rat colony with toughness, but you can discard a card for three mana to make a copy. And Piper of the Swarm, uh, gain control of creatures by sacrificing three rats. And rats have menace, and you can ma make rat tokens. So all of that, uh, all of those creatures, kind of are very typical of the rat deck. There are a couple others, like uh, the six mana creature that tutors a rat every turn. We, uh, that's kind of not what we want to be doing here. We have better ways of getting our rats out. But importantly, we also have uh, this inclusion, uh, Old Stick Fingers. Uh, when you cast this spell for green, black, and X, reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal X creature cards. Uh, so we're usually gonna pay like three to four into X, so paying like six for Stick Fingers. Uh, put all creature cards revealed this way into your graveyard, and then put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. So you just get to like basically buried alive three or for, you know, however many you pay for uh, rats. And this can also just be a big creature for two mana because old stick fingers, power and toughness are each equal to the number of creature cards in your graveyard. So if you have like, you know, other rats that you've already sacrificed and they're just hanging there uh, while, you know, while you're working on getting them back, this could be like a two mana, five, five, three mana, you know, get some extra creatures in there. So uh, typical, other cards. I'm actually going to um, sort all this by color so that we can see the, the inclusions that wouldn't normally be in a mono black uh, rat deck. Typical inclusions, uh, you see ad nauseum because we don't have too many cards that are more than uh, like four mana. We do have some like kindred dominance and uh, now return of the wild speaker and stuff like that. But ad nause usually just draws us a bunch of cards. And, you know, as long as we're not going into like the tens, we'll be usually fine, so this can be like five mana draw, six or seven, and that's still reasonable. Typical tutor, we have like uh, demonic tutor, vampiric tutor, unmarked grave, uh, a really awesome include in the rat deck. I always love casting secret salvage, because you, if you have a rat colony in your graveyard, you exile it from your graveyard and you search for all of your other rat colonies to your hand, uh, and you can either have all of them, cast all of them to, you know, to the best of your ability and then just discard the rest. Um, I've always liked that card. Uh, we also have things like Patriarch's Bidding and Living Death, I believe. Oh, we're not playing Living Death, okay. Just Patriarch's Bidding, which can, you choose a creature type and return all creatures of that type. Uh, same kind of thing with Pact of the Serpent, choose a creature type, uh, draw X cards and lose X life, where X is the number of creatures of that type. Uh, Mausoleum Secrets is very similar uh, to like a Demonic Tutor where you search your deck for a black card uh, for each creature you have in your graveyard. Uh, I've always liked that card. But uh, let's talk about the green cards that we're adding to the, the rat deck. Um, 
Importantly, we have Concordant Crossroads, giving every every creature on the battlefield haste, uh, you know, is kind of brutal when we resolve uh, Patriarch's bidding and return like six rat colonies to the battlefield. Suddenly you're attacking with like 30, 40 power that wasn't there before. It's really awesome. Crop rotation gets us a lot of our like utility lands, and I can go over those in a little while. I'll come back to that. Doubling chant is kind of insane. Uh, so it says, for each creature you control, you may search your deck for a creature card with the same name as that creature. Put those cards onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library. We don't usually get to use these kind of effects because Commander is a Highlander format where each of your card is a, you know, a single copy of that card. We don't have cards uh, that have the same name as other cards, except for exactly this scenario where we have Rat Colony or Pers uh, persistent petitioners or something like that. Um, so all of these cards that would normally be like just dead in Commander are actually really sweet here. Even if this, this is like search your deck for three creatures and put them on into play. That's so sweet. Uh, we also get uh, Greater Good, uh, which is in the same vein of, as why we're playing Gerard. We want to be making players lose life, but you know, to get there, we need to be keeping our resources going. So uh, greater good, sacrifice a creature, draw cards equal to the sacrificed creature's power, then discard three cards. Uh, if you're sacrificing a creature with six power, like one of your two mana rat colonies, it just ends up being like, draw six, discard your worst three or three creatures you can reanimate. Greater good has always been greater and uh, good, <laughs> in my opinion. Uh, Kindred Summons is the basically the same exact text as Double Enchant, except for it checks creature types, and you reveal. Uh, not search, uh, which is fine. Uh, we don't, you know, our rats are at worst a rat colony and at best like Marinar. So we we have a lot of good hits off of both of those cards. Uh, Life's Legacy and Momentous Fall are kind of the same card. You sacrifice a creature and draw cards equal to its power, similar to Greater Good, but you don't have to discard. And Momentous Fall gains you uh, life equal to that creature's toughness, which is usually going to be one. It'll be fine, you know. You're you're playing these for the draw cards, not for how uh, how much life you're gonna gain off of it. Uh, Return of the Wild Speaker is also just draw cards equal to the greatest power among non-human creatures you control. So if you have a rat colony that's like six or seven power, that's just five mana draw seven. That's an awesome rate. I would play that any day of the week. Uh, Shamanic Revelation, draw a card for each creature you control, and then gain four life for each creature with power four or greater. We're usually going to have at least like one or two, so gain some amount of life back. Triumph of the Hordes. Until end of turn, creatures you control get plus one, plus one, trample, and infect. Uh, importantly, we're not playing Crater Hoof Behemoth. Uh, there's not a lot of like really good ways to put it into play, uh, like natural order, because we don't have many actual green creatures to sacrifice it. Um, I guess we could be playing uh, um, Court of Calling, but at the same time, like we want to be just you know, casting a spell that we can cast to triumph the hordes will usually get the job done since we have like a bunch of creatures with, with a lot of power. And we wouldn't normally get to play this in a mono black deck like I keep saying, but like it's it's adding green to this deck really gives it a lot of things that normally would cost other like like the amount of cards you can draw in the green version doesn't cost you a lot of life. It just makes you want to do the thing that you're going to do anyways, which is have big power creatures on the battlefield. Moving on, uh, we have some multicolor cards like Assassin's Trophy and, you know, Gerard's Orders, um, you know, Removal and Tutors. Uh, I think Gerard's Orders good. I, it could be another card. I think it's just flavorful because we, we're playing Gerard. Uh, but importantly, uh, is one of the most uh, like insane cards that no one, I don't think, <laughs> it's 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 a it's slept on for sure. Whenever a creature spell is played, so I think it, it's errata too. Whenever you whenever you cast a creature spell, yeah. Whenever a player casts a creature spell, each player returns all cards with the same name as that spell from their graveyard to the battlefield. This is symmetrical. So if your opponent casts um, like Eternal Witness and your other opponent also has Eternal Witness, they both get theirs back. I don't think it'll come up very often. It's mostly just going to be for you returning your rat colonies. Uh, which can get kind of crazy because you can like have one in your hand, sack all of yours to greater good, and then cast one and get all of them back. The the, the just the, the amount of gas, like the, the 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 raw, 
what am I trying to say? The raw value of reanimating three creatures for like no mana is insane. I think I think blood uh, blood bond march is so 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 cool and good, and I I really love it when I get to put this on the battlefield. You know, because um, like I said, not many decks get to have the luxury of marching. You know. This is a, a very unique angle that uh, this deck gets to approach from. Uh, moving on, we have some artifacts. Uh, Altar of Dementia is pretty stock for the rats deck. Uh, you get to either mill yourself to draw more rats or mill your opponents when you have enough to you know, mill them out of the game. Um, Ashenon's Altar is just good because you get to you know, make mana and progress your you know, board state into getting more creatures on the battlefield. So Expedition Map and Crop Rotation, like I said before, usually you'd run Expedition Map when you're running like Cabal, Coffers, Urborg. But importantly, we also have like Nykthos because we have a lot of uh, black pips. Uh, we have Boseju who shelters all to make sure that our like Kindred Dominances and Ad Nauseums get through. Uh, we, we do have a lot of instants and sorceries that get us good value and having them not be able to be countered, I think is worth playing this card. Um, I know it's, a colorless land in a in a deck that our, cre our our commander costs so many not colorless pips, but I still think it's worth it. Just you know, treat it like a like a Mazevith. Like it doesn't tap for mana all the time, but when it does, it's really good. Uh, and we're also just for for because we can, we have both Urborg and Yavi Maya to make our our mana perfect all the time. I've been loving playing black green decks with both of these effects in it because it just feels like. Um, you don't have to think about your your mana base. You just get to to have just tap your land and it'll all work out. And it uh, it turns off like Llanowar wastes deal damage to you. It makes Boseju tap for colors. It makes Crypt of Agadim tap for green. Um, Crypt is really good with all of our rats too. I, I think I forgot to mention that. Yeah, this is this is just like a sweet build for rats. I've I've always kind of loved the rats deck. Um, I think I would add Ash Coat to this deck I, when, when it last, yeah, up, uh, last updated eight months ago. So um, Ash Coat definitely gets in here somewhere, but I'm not sure where. Um, it is kind of like Rats Crater Hoof, kind of, but like just sort of. Overall, uh, this is a really sweet build of Rats. Uh, I've played it a couple times. Definitely looking forward to, to playing it again. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, give us a like, subscribe, uh, join our Discord. The link to this deck will be in the description. Uh, yeah, have a nice day. deck I call Jurats. Uh, it's a it's a pun.